All right, hi El Capitan, welcome back to my channel and happy birthday, happy you day to the goat, all right, to the devil himself. All right, El Capitan, this is going to be a monthly reading for January for Capi. All right, El Capitan, sun, moon rising and the north node. All right, so no clear audience messages, we're going to wing it, we're going to uh, allow the messages to come on their own accord, all right, but we are entering a personal universal, sorry, year five, okay, like I've told every sign before you, this is a, a year all about change, okay, drastic change, unexpected change, it's also a very exciting year, it's, an, it's a year to take a risk, all right, it's also, I'm getting self-expression for you. This is a year for you to express yourself, okay? Put yourself out there, all right? Put your balls out there. <laughs> okay, so El Capitan, okay, sun, moon, rising, and the north node. Show me the first 10 days of January for El Capitan, nine of cups. Okay, so you're getting what you want right away, all right? Of course, uh, you know, so be it, or um, it's your birthday, Nine of Pentacles. That's my skinny, pretty, and rich card. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. You're getting what you want, and you're content with it. All right, I'm also getting two. Yeah, you're very content with this. Okay, so I'm getting, I'm getting two of a payout of some sort or something very luxurious. I see, um, I see that you are shopping. You're buying something from a department store or from a mall. Okay, I see you doing this in person, trying clothes on with other women. I'm getting to you could be with your mother. I'm getting maternity though. You're shopping at a maternity store or you're like shopping for like baby items or something like that or this is what you're looking into. All right, so I'm getting you may find out that you're pregnant or you may find out that somebody else is pregnant right here at the beginning of the month. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, a lot of money coming in, Seven of Cups, and then you have the Two of Wands, okay? So you have a lot of options. I'm getting a lot of opportunities to make money or you have several options to choose from. Yeah, so I'm getting a mall or an outlet or you're shopping online. This could be Amazon or a, a, like a wholesale store or something like that. A lot of options, a little bit overwhelmed with options, but I'm getting really, really nice stuff. So I'm getting a very uh, luxurious or classy mall or like a boutique or a mall outlet, something like that, okay? Everything is designer. Okay, yeah, so I feel like you're, you're buying designer clothes or somebody else is buying designer clothes for you. I'm also getting to you're trying to find designer clothes for cheap or you're trying to find designer clothes on this market. Okay, what's the seven of clubs? Or you're trying to find out what to do with your old clothes, your old designer clothes. I, sh I should give them away, but to who? Maybe I should resell them, blah, blah, blah. What's the seven of cups? All right, so I feel like you're cleaning out your closet or you're trying, you're looking for things in your closet that you can sell, that you can give away. All right, I see you giving away like several sweaters. All right, okay, what's the Seven of Cups? All right, we have the Strength card and we have the Five of Wands. Okay, so you're sitting here trying to decide. If we have the Hangman, I'm, I'm, de I'm literally getting like you're hanging up clothes or you're pulling shit off hangers and you're gonna give them away. I see you pulling shit off hangers and putting them into bags. Shoes, old clothes, just old shit. shit Shit that has rips in it, torn or garbage. I see you taking out the trash though, Cappy. Okay, yeah, we have the King of Cups. I'm also getting two. You're throwing somebody, you're, you're, uh, you're putting somebody else's shit in the bag. You like get your shit, put your shit in the bag. All right, so I'm, I'm getting like, if you're dealing with, if you're dealing with this earth sign or this other, this fire sign, I feel like you're packing their shit and you're gonna have their shit ready for them on the porch or on the balcony when they get home here. Here's all your shit, here's all your bags, get the hell out. So yeah, I'm kind of, I feel like, yeah, what's the Ten of Pentacles? I'm getting you're happy that somebody's moving out or like somebody's packing their shit or someone's leaving. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, we have the Eight of Wands and then we have the Ace of Cups. Now somebody could be packing their shit and coming towards you. This could be like somebody's get, being released from jail or somebody's coming home from the military or whatever this is. But I feel like someone's like, pack up and you start throwing your shit in the bag, or they do, or some shit like that. Or someone's like, yeah, I'm, I'm coming home, or I'm packing up right now, I'm packing my shit. What's the two of wands? Yeah, we have the judgment card. Yeah, someone's gonna call you and tell you something. I feel like someone's gonna break up with you over the phone or via text message, or you're breaking up with somebody over the phone, like, yeah, I packed my shit, all my shit's gonna be gone when you get back, or, yeah, I feel like some, yeah, justice card. 
So I feel like you have decided to be with this Libran or you have decided to break up with this Libran. I feel like you're going to tell them in so many words. If it's not an actual, if it's not an actual call, I'm getting a voice message or FaceTime, like, yeah, you know, it's not working out for me. So I'm getting you are going to initiate a breakup here with this Libran. All right, or this is what the Libra is doing for you. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. Okay, but I see you guys reconnecting though. So I feel like I'm getting a whole bunch of bullshit is happening the first 10 days for no reason because I see you breaking up with somebody and getting back together two days later or some shit like that. Yeah, the Five of Swords. Yeah, I see you getting back together with this person. All right, or I see you going back to work. So I feel like someone's gonna someone's gonna cause a big scene or someone's gonna make a big deal out of something and it's, not really that big of a deal. Yeah, we have the Nine of Pentacles. But I feel like someone is doing something petty to get your attention. All right, what's the Five of Wands? And we have, what's the Five of Wands and the Hangman? Or this is you. Yeah, we have the Two of Pentacles. All right. So I'm also getting two. Something is going to be reopened back up for you. Something is reopening. So I'm getting the Mall... Or this could be a nail salon, or whatever. But I'm getting, I'm getting something. Something is going to be opened back up, and it is really busy. There's so many people there, so I'm getting like this. This could be a change to where there's no, there's no more lines at the mall. You could just walk in, all right. Or this, it's going to be a grand opening, and like people just, there's like a swarm of people. Like it's so busy, all right. Or like as soon as you, as soon as you return back to work, you have. All these messages, all these people have been waiting on you. Someone's like, people are like, welcome back, or blah, 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 eight of swords. All right, what's the nine of, what's the nine of cups, please? I feel like you like the drama, though. Whatever somebody is doing, you like the drama, you like what somebody is saying, you like to feud, or you like to fight, or... I feel like, I feel like if somebody's doing something really petty, you like it. You like, yeah, you like, all right. What's the nine, what's the uh, eight, nine of cups? What's the nine of cups? Yeah, we have the Three of Cups. You have the Four of Pentacles. All right. Yeah, I, I'm also getting two. You're going to see somebody while you're out, like, in the crowd, but you're not going to say anything. You're not going to mention. You're not going to say anything to them. So I see you being out at the mall or you're out shopping and you actually recognize someone, but you're not going to say anything to them. But I'm getting you're happy that you saw them or you may get a photo or something like that. Now, somebody may be bold enough to ask you for a photo or somebody may just take a photo of you and post it or something. All right, let's see. What's the Nine of Cups or somebody? I'm getting a screenshot. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the King of Swords and the Lover's Card. Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm getting the first 10 days. I see you breaking up with somebody, being real petty. I see you guys getting back together. I see, I see other people kind of being mad. At, I see other people being pissed off that you're back together with someone or that you're back at work. People are pissed off to see that you're back at work and you look really good. You look really fit. You look really cute. I'm getting new clothes. Maybe you have a new body. You look really good. I'm getting on the day that you return, you look bomb as fuck. All right? Or you're back together with this person like, it, like, you got, like this person never left or something like that. Yeah, I'm getting several people being upset about this, whatever it is, what it is. People love you. I'm getting people, a lot of people are happy to see you back. A lot of people aren't. Yeah, the lover's card, the six of swords. Yeah, I feel like you're going to forgive someone. All right. I'm getting like playful banter. You guys may go back and forth a little bit or whatever. All right. It's really, really dramatic and, you know. Okay, let's see. Okay, second 10 days of December for El Capitan. All right. All right, second, second 10 days of December for El Capitan, please. Yeah, we have the sun card. Wow, look at you. All right, so you're, you're very happy. That's like you're glowing. Beautiful skin. Yeah, the five of pentacles. Interesting. All right, we have the nine of pentacles, and we have the title card. All right, so I'm getting something about a social security number or some type of paperwork that you do not have. 
All right, so I'm getting a, I'm getting a permit to sell something or a permit, just period. So I feel like you can't afford something right now. Something is expensive. But I, I feel like you think you can't afford it, but you actually can with the Nine of Pentacles. So you're, you're going to discover that some, so I feel like you're, you're going to get good news. You're going to find, you're going to figure out how much something costs, all right? Or you're going to figure out that something may cost some, there may be a fee that you have to pay for something that you don't have right now immediately, but I'm getting you're happy to know what the fee is or you're happy to know what the amount is just so you know how much you need later or something like that. All right. Because I, I kind of, I'm kind of, where's the five of pentacles? Because I see you taking, I see you, I see $9,000. I see you taking five of that and putting it up or putting it away. What's the five of pentacles? Yeah, so I'm getting if you're putting five grand up, you're still going to have nine grand left over. Or you're still going to have, what's the five of pentacles? Okay, the five of swords, yeah. I see you, I'm getting you're going to be putting money away for a rainy day, several, uh, several grand, which is really good, all right? So I'm getting a rainy day fund, yeah, we have the judgment card. I'm also getting too, because you're putting this money away, you're not going to need it. Just because you're prepared, you're never going to need that money, but keep that cash on hand all year, all right? So what's the nine of pentacles? So I'm getting just because you're doing this, it's going to prevent potential hiccups just because you're prepared for it, just the way the universe works, nine of pentacles. What is it Murphy's Laws? All right, so I'm getting you're happy that you that you have the luxury of doing this, putting money away for a rainy day. You have the luxury of, you know, going into your savings and you know, taking that money out. It's nothing. What's the nine of pentacles? So I'm getting you're not going to touch that five grand at all. Yeah, we have the ace of cups and then we have the ace of wands. Yeah, okay. What is this, please? I'm getting you're still going to have money to do, what, to do what you need, though. I'm getting weed and wine. Okay, just period. I feel like you're going to, I'm getting you're going to put a, you're going to put a large sum of money away. Then you're going to spend the rest on like weed and wine. That's what you do. That's how you relax. You drink a little, you drink a little bit, smoke a little bit. That's how you relax. You're relaxing. All right. So I feel like this is what you do for work. This is, I mean, I'm getting your house. This looks really good. Your house is clean. Fully furnished, it's beautiful, you look good, all right? You, I'm getting you don't want for anything. You have everything that you need in your home. You have all your clothes, all your needs are met. You have money put away. You got money in the bank. You got money to spend. I'm getting you're just, you're just sitting here chilling with your weed and with your wine or whatever it is that you do. I'm getting, uh, it's not weed, I'm getting a cigar. But I'm getting definitely something to drink and like, you know, something to indulge your senses. Often too, like every day, something is like habitual. Every day you're drinking wine, or every day you're smoking. All right, yeah, something is going to become a habit. Yeah, because I feel like you, I feel like you are in a state of re relaxation. You don't need anything. You have everything that you need. All right, so I'm getting, I'm getting be careful, be careful, El Capitan. Especially if you have an addictive personality, be careful not to fall into alcoholism or don't become a burnout. Because I'm getting, it's very easy for us to do that, especially in a five personal year. You can have a life path number five. You could be prone to addiction. So be careful not to fall into that shit, all right? Because I feel like you have a lot of free time or you have, you don't have to do shit. I'm getting, you have money, you have reservoirs of money or you have somebody taking care of you or helping you. So you get really bored and you start drinking a lot and smoking a lot and it can become a really bad habit. All right, I'm getting you're gonna find you're gonna find yourself doing something every day or several times a day, drinking whole bottles or whole fifths or whatever. Like, damn, let me just slow down. Yeah, okay. What's the title card? I'm also getting too like somebody's retired. All they do is drink. Or like when somebody comes home. Yeah, we have the magician card. Yeah, make sure you stay active. Keep yourself active. Go out, exercise, go to the gym, read, watch TV, something. All right, I'm getting like try to try to find something to do this second 10 days because it looks like you're not really doing much. You're not really doing anything. You don't have to. You're just kind of relaxing. Yeah, we have the Prince of Pentacles and we have the Two of Cups. Yeah, relaxing with your boo. So I feel like somebody could be on leave or somebody's on vacation. All right, make sure this person stays active or make sure you have, you know, some cool things planned or whatever. So you guys are not just you guys are not just sitting around just drinking and 
something like that. All right. I'm getting to like somebody's in poor health or somebody got somebody's gonna get injured and they have to stay at home. Okay. So that could be leading to another part of addiction that I was talking about. Somebody has to stay at home. Maybe they have painkillers that they're taking every day. So just be careful that you're not like fucking like popping them like fucking Eminem's. What's the sun card? Yeah, we have the high priestess. Okay, then we have the death card. All right. I'm also getting to you're going to find out that somebody pops pills or somebody has a really bad addiction. All right, it's like somebody's spending a lot of money on this. Because I feel like El Capitan, you may be able to drink every day, smoke every day. You can just stop cold turkey. I feel like this person is not able to do that. I feel like somebody is prone to addiction. They can't just stop or I feel like somebody can't, they can't kick it with you. Like somebody has an addiction. They, they can't just chill for one night. They'll go home and drink up the whole bottle for, you know, 10 days straight, shit like that. All right. Okay, one more card. Yeah, we have the devil card. Exactly. There's your energy, El Capitan. Yeah, the star, really bad habits. Yeah, because I'm getting like, you know, somebody doesn't really have much to do. They could be a, you know, a professional blogger, influencer, or actual celebrity here. They have everything. All right, or this could be an Aquarian. I feel like they have nothing, nothing to do but to drink and smoke cigars or smoke or just sit around. All right, so I'm going to, okay, let's see. The last 10 days. So I'm getting this person, I feel, like the, I feel like the second 10 days of January, you need some encouragement, El Capitan. All right. I feel like someone's going to be trying to encourage you to get up, go out, do something, you know, do something with your life. Don't just be codependent. Okay, let's see. So somebody's trying to, somebody wants to encourage you to be more independent, or this is you. All right, the last 10 days. Okay, the last 10 days of this January for El Capitan, sorry. Okay, the last 10 days of January, please. I feel like several people could be having a lot to say about what you're doing or how you're doing it. Several people have an opinion. You should be doing it this way. Okay, let's see. The, the uh, King of Cups. Okay, more love. So much love. All right, the Knight of Pentacles. The temperance card, yeah, everything is like so perfect. I'm getting the perfect timing, like something is just right. Everything is perfect. Yeah, we have the ten of wands. All right, I feel like, too, you're trying to play it off like everything is perfect. You're going to reach your breaking point. All right. So I feel like I feel like the second ten days, everything is cool. You're going with the flow. You're drinking, you know, having a little bit of smoke, just kind of chilling. But I feel like something becomes a burden or like, you know, you be, something becomes boring or like, you know, Something really slows down. Like, okay, well, something is really, something, somebody really becomes inactive. Yeah, and impenetrable. Yeah, what's the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, the Four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting something that's really exciting. It's really great. So I'm also getting to, like, if this is someone new that you're dating, I feel like the sex slows down and completely stops. Okay, by the end of the month, somebody doesn't want to have sex anymore. They don't want to be intimate. They don't want to talk anymore. They stop being sweet and cuddly and warm and nice. Like somebody starts withholding sex majorly or like somebody doesn't want to smoke anymore or somebody doesn't want you to smoke anymore. I feel like somebody really starts to restrict your freedom or to restrict your extracurricular activities. They really get restricted here by this person. So like, someone's like, okay, I'm also getting too, someone's not okay with you doing something unless they're around you. Like somebody only wants you to drink when they're around. You can only smoke when I'm around. So I feel like somebody, they, they start smothering you. All right, what's the temperance card? Because it looks like something was perfect and it's like, it's almost like you realize that it's, it's not that. It's not perfect. Something's going on here. All right, what's the temperance card? Yeah, you feel really restricted. You can't do shit. All right, I'm also getting to, you're going to, I'm getting you, you start to bite your tongue. You can't really speak your mind. You have to swallow your pride or walk on eggshells. You're like, hmm, okay. So I'm, I'm getting, if you're pregnant by someone, they're going to become really possessive, okay? Or if you're doing something new, someone's going to become really possessive after a while. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Page of Pentacles. All right, so if you're, if you're telling someone that you're pregnant and you're not, I, would, that's, I wouldn't do that because I feel like someone's going to, like, ask for proof, and then if you can't provide that, they're... Okay, what is the Temperance card? I mean, what is the uh, Emperor? 
Yeah, like somebody just, something just stops all of a sudden. Like somebody stops supporting or like somebody, you know, they don't want to have sex anymore. They don't want you doing that anymore or they don't want kids anymore. Like somebody just come, becomes like a bump on a log. Yeah, we have the title card. We have the world card. It's just, it's just over. It just ends. All right. So I'm getting if you were doing something online, that's going to come to an end. Some type of online contract or if somebody was working overseas, their contract is over. So I'm getting a DOD employee. Yeah, the contract is over It's or something like that. Yeah. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups and we have the Star card. So I feel like if you, I feel like if you took something for granted, if you kind of put somebody on hold to be with somebody else, that person is going to start withholding and kind of acting funny. And then you're going to start missing this other person that used to encourage you and gave you freedom and let you be yourself. And because I'm kind of getting you, you chose to be with somebody who's like, um, they're, they're like a covert emperor. Like they don't, they're impenetrable. They're not affectionate. They're not very emotional. They're kind of cold and heartless and very serious and very restrictive and they're very prideful and you can't really talk to them. I'm getting you had somebody around that was very encouraging, very a, a very free spirit, somebody who made you feel good about yourself. It could have been like somebody who was very influential. I kind of feel like they made you get rid of this person so that they could trap you or keep you on lock or something like that. All right, what is the uh, King of Cups? Because I feel like you, I'm getting you're really lacking inspiration or you're really lacking faith. All right. Okay, what's the King of Cups? Yeah, we have the moon card, and then we have the ace of cups. I'm, I'm getting you're going to find out that, yeah, somebody is pregnant here. Definitely, you're pregnant. I feel like somebody does not want an abortion. Somebody wants to keep the child. So I feel like somebody is totally against that completely. Yeah, so I, I feel like you're a, little bit, you're a little bit stuck here. Yeah, I see. I feel like you're, gonna, you're going to be forced to reach out to someone, or you're going to be forced to ask somebody for their help that you really don't want to ask. But I feel like you really don't want to be a mother or you really don't, you don't want this child or. Now, if you are a male watching this, I feel like whoever this is, they don't, they don't want to get an abortion. You're like, please don't do this to me. Or can we please, can you please rethink that? Because I kind of, I feel like you could be, you, maybe you're far away of Gappy Time and you can't do anything physically. You can't make them stop. You're not there or they won't take the money or they're keeping it or something like that. I kind of, I feel like somebody wants a baby here and somebody else definitely does not want one. I feel like that would be the ultimate, I feel like that would like somebody's life would come, would, would come completely crashing down if they had a kid. Yeah, or something like that, or they lost their job. Okay. Yeah, we have the two of pentacles. There you are, Elkapi, the, the four of pentacles, yeah. Cause I'm getting like, I'm, I'm kind of getting a situation where you have to support two households and you can't afford to do that and you know that. I'm also getting to somebody else knows that as well that you can't afford you can't afford to support them you can't afford that shit. So I'm definitely getting I'm I'm definitely getting up. Sorry, my nose. I don't know if it's the ring or I got boogies, but I'm definitely getting somebody is wrecking your home here. Yeah, third party situation is going left. Somebody's a home wrecker, or you you got somebody pregnant on the side, or you had sex with somebody on the side. That person wants to be more than friends, or I feel like that person is threatening to keep the child or threatening to tell this person or threatening to wreck your home or some shit like that. All right, what's the two of pentacles, four of wands? Two of pentacles, four of wands. Yeah, the seven of wands. Yeah, the three of swords. So I'm getting like the last 10 days, I'm getting you are going to be in pain. All right, yeah, somebody does not want this child, but I, I'm also getting too, like, you're going to have to break the news to somebody else that you cheated or you got somebody pregnant, they won't get rid of it or something like that. I'm getting like, you're going to have to break some, you're going you're to get some really bad news about a kid here or about a job or somebody's giving you, somebody's giving you this bad news. I'm getting too, you could be, you could be potential, potentially facing eviction. All right. Okay. Let, let's see how. Let's see what else. Okay. So I'm de I'm definitely getting a breakup here. I'm not getting an eviction, but I'm definitely getting this going to be a breakup because of infidelity. All right. If you're not going through this, somebody's telling you this, or maybe you tried to tell someone. Like I tried to tell you. All right.
Okay, messages for El Capitan, we have knowledge and we have book. Yeah, so I'm getting you're already aware of this, that somebody's pregnant or you're, you know that someone's going to get pregnant or you already know that you are or something like that. All right. But I feel like, too, someone's going to tell you something that you already know. You already know that somebody was cheating on you or you, I mean, you already knew these things, okay? Yeah, we have patience. I'm getting you just, you have been, you have, you have been patiently waiting for someone to be honest with you. You've been waiting for someone to, to just tell you what it is. I'm getting you already know what's going on. All right, we have handwriting, authenticity. I'm also getting to you know that somebody's lying about this. That's what, that's what I'm getting. You, you know that someone's lying about being pregnant, but you're kind of playing along with it, El Capitan. But I feel like somebody is just saying this to keep you around or to uh, get you to support them or to get you to send money or something like that. Yeah, we have, okay, handwriting. If someone's lying to you, you know that. I feel like that's what hurts the most, that somebody's lying to you. Or that somebody, you're, you may find out that somebody got, got an abortion while you were locked up. They were pregnant by somebody else. Or they had sex with somebody else or something like that. If you were not locked up, I'm getting you were away, maybe out of town or something like that. All right, give me a spell card. So, you know, the last 10 days, I'm getting a little bit of heartache, but the Three of Swords, it's not destroyed. Yes, I'm getting something's going to sting. You are going to be crying. All right. But I'm getting you will get over it. Because I get, I'm getting it's something that you were already aware of anyway. You saw it coming. Okay. Yeah, we have passion. All right, interesting. Okay. I'm also getting to the beginning of an affair that you're starting. All right. Yeah, so I feel like you're... You're going, you're going into something knowing, knowing that you're hurting somebody else. You're no, you're, you know that you're going into a third party situation. You don't care. Or you know that this is like you're betraying somebody. You don't care. Yeah, we have letting go. Okay, yeah. So I'm also getting to you're doing this to get back at someone. I feel like somebody really hurt you, so... You have the opportunity to hurt them or to get back. I see you taking the opportunity. You're going to get what's yours or you're going you're gonna to get what makes you happy. All right, let's see what your wellness card is. Yeah, something, something, definitely, something is definitely going to backfire here. I'm getting irony. I hear you telling someone, don't tell them I told you, or don't tell them that we're talking, or delete these messages. I delete the message thread. I hear you telling someone, I hear you telling someone that, like, don't tell them I told you this, or don't, you know, delete these messages after this. All right, we have spend time with animals. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting, I'm getting young, you know, dogs, cats. All right. I'm getting, um, if you have animals, you, I'm getting, you could be neglecting them. So make sure you feed your dogs, walk them. All right. Feed your fish or whatever. Okay. I swear. Nails itchy. All right. Give me your love life in a nutshell for El Capitan. Okay, your love life in a nutshell for El Capitan. Okay, it says, let, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Yeah, so I kind of saw that somebody, somebody starts becoming kind of possessive and controlling. So I, I feel like love goes without saying here. All right, but I feel like somebody is stepping out or like somebody's going elsewhere because 
They need inspiration, or this, of course, this could be you, El Capitan. We saw that in your next 48 reading. Are you stepping out because you feel neglected or something like that? Okay. All right, let's get a crystal card for you. So I feel like I feel like the last 10 days of January, you are cheating a hell of a lot. You're cheating, just period. All right. I'm getting you don't care. It's it's what you want. It's this this person, this person encourages you, they make you feel good. You know, you like the you like the way you feel when you're around them. I'm getting to like maybe somebody feeds you. They they're a really good cook. They cook really good. You you know, you just I feel like somebody makes you feel free. All right. Definitely getting your cheating. So there's definitely a mistress here. All right, or whatever. Okay. Cuz I'm I'm getting I'm getting it's coming to the point where you hate going home or you hate being at home. Like you I'm getting you'll do you'll do anything not to go home like man, I, nah, let me just, let me spend the night or like stay up with me or something like that. All right, so the, the uh, card you, I mean, the you have jet as your crystal, jet. Like, I got a jet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, it says, who needs it? Empaths, witch, witchy types. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like you met a witchy type, or you're, you're dealing with, like, a witch, and you like them. You're like, I like, I like that witchy shit. Or you like the witch or something like that. All right. Maybe this person teaches you magic, or they're very magical, or... Like their home is very inspiring, or there's something about the energy. They have star qualities. When they are away from you, you definitely miss them. I feel like somebody gives you life, or they, they encourage you. They just make you feel good as shit. The star card. Yeah. Aquarius rules influence. All right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm giving this person's very influential. It says, Where to put it? To clear a physical space or your body of uninvited vibes. Swipe jet over the affected area and tell toxic energy, spirits, intentions to peace out. So you can swipe this over your yoni or over your, you know, your phallus. If you feel like you had, if you've been sexually intimate with somebody who's dirty, I would like put the, the, this crystal inside your panties or something like that or inside your bra to like spill out those toxins or whatever. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hope that helps you El Capitan. time. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.